right on by. Happy birthday. Exactly. That's what he said. Happy birthday. Oh, oh, Happy birthday. That yep. was so sweet. Oh. I went on ahead to pretend like I ain't see him. He <laughs> said he gonna try to see. He gonna laugh the second time. You gonna laugh? Oh, you still got something here. Oh my gosh. It's like halfway. I know. That's what I was saying. I thought you. No, I thought it was all gone. <laughs> No, the, I kept telling you, no, there is, I, I was the one holding it, so I know. Oh, the sparklers. Right. I even wrong sparklers. Ooh, yeah. Girl, you're weekend. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. I was, I was ready to record your ass getting taken away from the cops. <laughs> That's my Take best friend, girl. <laughs> make it look pretty. <laughs> Shake her up a little bit, too. <laughs> Make it hot for them. I'm gonna do that. It's her birthday. Oh, you guys go ahead. Just be going by like morning. Because that's usually that's usually how it is for us. They just be like, okay, you guys, or no, you can't be here. It's it's not like I'm gonna shoot you. It's never. It's ne oh, poor Harry. Girl, I don't know. know what the fuck happened to him. I don't know what happened in his life. Girl, I don't have some pretty bad experiences, but I'm still not like. I've had pretty bad. Well, I don't know. The worst, the scariest part for me, the worst part of, about being handcuffed was the dog that one time. But the other part was the waiting. Once you're in there, yeah, you're just waiting. I think they just, and that, waiting. That's a, yeah, and that, it's a I think, whole joke. And they even walk by and look at you like, yeah. girl, <laughs> look how they face look. Girl, the first time Does it look like, like they regret it. To the mayor, yeah, like bitch, just. <laughs> But they and the thing is, they really do want to know like what you've done and how you feel about it. It's like it's school for them, you know. Right. Oh, oh, at the mental institute, definitely, because you don't even need no license or nothing. You could just I could go in there right tomorrow and be like, I want to work here at this mental institute and book these people just to book them, just to be like, this is what you did. Okay, this is your stuff. Whatever you get full view of everything, oh. girl. This man walked in there. He smelled like death and he said that there he said that he heard people talking to him and telling him to do things to hurt people and I was like oh like and then we asked him me and the person that worked there was like did the did the voices have bodies or like you know was it like anyone physically in the room or no he's like no just voices telling me to harm these people around me no it's not no don't do that no don't do that. Sarcasm. No. Well, yeah, don't do sarcasm. I can't handle that. I can't. Um, what we joke about? Real shit. Like, we joke about stuff that we've been through. I apologize. That is I apologize happening. I apologize to that one that we're outside the window. I'm sorry about that. Oh yeah, I told him that shit ain't funny because if he, if somebody was with you and said, tell me to look outside that you were outside and you weren't really there, that would have hurt my fucking feelings. Because I said, because um, he said, oh yeah, look outside, we down there. Oh girl, I did, and I did look outside. <laughs> Listen. I looked outside and I was like, ain't nobody there. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I was like, I, I mean, I don't remember, but I was like, huh. Huh. You know, I, I didn't know like if I missed it or if y'all just left it's, oh, you, oh, or oh, something. Oh, oh, oh. I know, I know, but I was but like, she huh. would have went through all those scenarios before saying it was a lie. Yeah. Like she shouldn't have to suffer like that, especially knowing that I'm coming well, yeah, around. I, yeah, like, you know, like when there's certain people, you know, there's certain expectations, you know, so. Girl, I hit even at Priscilla, they Priscilla and her boyfriend was laughing at me because he was like, "Yeah, I'm coming." Girl, the whole I was in the middle of the fucking road. Yeah, really upside down with that oh. one though, because I, I wasn't swearing through. But you're like, you know what I'm saying? You got some, something. And it was miscommunication, but no, I wasn't even on the way to you. I was about to be on my way to you. you know so you sent me like a fake Uber or something? Cause if nah, you showed me, I made that motherfucker to cancel my shit. While you were in the Uber? I wasn't even. But he was like, yeah, I'm right there. Look down the road and all that stuff. I'm just like, I'm literally outside in the middle of the fucking road waiting, sitting outside like a dog for like two hours. Just like, oh man, I finally get to see this guy again. Aww. And 
as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, the, uh, that's why Tyler stopped talking to me completely. Because there was someone with me that was like, wow, you finally found someone that's like upbeat that you're looking for like that. I'm just like, okay, yeah, I hope he's worth it. Cause he said, I want to see if he come through. This dude that I was considering making my boyfriend kind of, oh God, girl, he was about to do the whole shebang for me. He was, what? Like, I would have, I would have felt, shut the fuck up. Please Well, I'm going to go get a letter. Hell no. Nah. I'm going to get a letter right here. He really did look like Jesus. <laughs> he looked like a little mini Bob. He really, his name was Tyler. Anyway, my whole point was, I stood, I stood out there and I was waiting for him. I was waiting for you. And even the person that wanted me to be happy sat and waited with me. <sighs> Just for disappointment. Just take your time, there's no rush. 